Hello, Dr. Cisse covering anatomy and physiology. Today we'll talk about the skeletal system, the bone markings on the skeletal system. Here you see the skull, the trunk, the upper extremity, and the lower extremity. On the skull, we have cranial bones and facial bones. On the cranial, we have the frontal, the parietal, the temporal, the occipital. On the temporal bone, we have the mastoid process, the big bump here, and the small one on the back called the styloid process, and the external acoustic medius. On the mandible, we have the mandibular condyle. On the mandibular process, into the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. Here we see the zygomatic arch connecting the temporal bone and the zygomatic bone. On the trunk, we see the sternum with the xiphoid process, the body of the sternum, and the manubrium. On the scapula, we can see the spine of the scapula, the acromion, and the coracoid. The glenoid cavity, where the head of the humerus is going to articulate with. On top of the spine, the supraspinous fossa, below the infraspinous fossa, and under the subscapular fossa. On the humerus, we see the head, the greater tubercle, the lesser tubercle, the anatomical neck, the surgical neck. Down here, we see a rough area called the deltoid tuberosity. On the distal part of the humerus, we see the condyle made with the capitulum and the trochlea. And the epicondyle, this bump here, the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle. At the bottom here, we can see the radius and the ulna. The bump on the back of the ulna is the olecranon process. On the front is the coronoid process. The olecranon process goes into olecranon fossa of the humerus. The coronoid process goes into the coronoid fossa of the humerus. Here, you see the radial tuberosity here. At the bottom, you see at the distal part of the radius and ulna, you see the styloid process of the radius and the styloid process of the ulna. The carpal, the metacarpal, and the phalanges. Here we see the hip bone, the ilium, the ischium, the ischium, and the pubis. The ilium, ischium, and pubis. And this hole here, I don't know if you can see, let's turn this way. Here, we see the obturator foramen here. It's the hole here, obturator foramen. On the femur, this is the femur, we can see the head of the femur, the neck of the femur. The head of the femur goes into the acetabulum, acetabulum. This big bump here, right here, is the greater trochanter, and the small one is the lesser trochanter, the lesser trochanter here. And then here we see the patella, on the patellar surface of the femur. Here we see the tibia with the tibial tuberosity and the fibula. On the lateral side, we see the, the lateral malleolus. In the medial, we see the medial malleolus of the tibia. Here we see the calcaneus, the calcaneus. On the spine, we see the vertebrae. This is the body of the vertebrae. This is the spine of the vertebrae and these are the transverse processes of the vertebrae. You see the sacrum and the coccyx. These are the basic things we need to know about the skeletal system. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in class.